All right, so I think we are, in fact, ready to move on to multi-electron atoms. And what happens is when we solve the relativistic version of the Schrodinger equation and we're discussing more than one electron, we actually have a fourth quantum number that falls out and that we need to deal with. And this is called the electron spin quantum number. And I promise this is the last quantum number that we'll be introducing. And this spin magnetic quantum number we abbreviate as M sub S. So that's to differ differentiate from M sub L. And uh, when you solve the relativistic form of the Schrodinger equation, what you end up with is that you can have two possible values for the magnetic spin quantum number. You can have it equal to plus one half, and that's what we call spin up, or you can have it equal to minus one half, which is what we call spin down. So there's two kind of cartoons shown here that give you a little bit of an idea of what this quantum number tells us. And this spin is an intrinsic quality of the electron. It's a property that is intrinsic in all particles, just like we would say mass is intrinsic or charge is intrinsic. Spin is also an intrinsic property. Uh, one way to think about it, if we want to use a classical analogy, which often helps to give us an idea of what's going on, is the spin of an electron we can picture it rotating on its own axis. So that's kind of what's shown in these pictures here. Uh, so you can see if it's spinning on its own axis in this direction, we'd call it spin up, whereas this way it would be what we call spin down. So it turns out there's not actually a good classical analogy for spin. We can't really think of it like that, but if that helps you give you an idea of what's going on here, then it's valuable maybe to consider it spinning on its own axis, even though that's not technically uh, what's exactly happening here. But the reason that I like that analogy is that it points out a very important part of spin, and that's the idea that it's a description of the electron. It is not dependent on the actual orbital. So we can completely describe an orbital with just using three quantum numbers, but we have this fourth quantum number that describes something about the electron that's required for now a complete description of the electron, and that's the idea of spin. So we need to actually add on this fourth quantum number, and it's either going to be plus one-half or negative one-half.